Hello everyone! Welcome to a solo version of Quarantine Cooking with Krista and Ryder. He is sleeping, so um, I'm just going to start getting dinner ready. Um, tonight I am making, for the first time, a um, pasta ground beef skillet. Um, so this recipe uh, calls for one pound of ground beef, one cup of onion diced, uh, one tablespoon of minced garlic, one teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon pepper, two tablespoons Worcestershire sauce, two tablespoons ketchup, four cups of beef broth, 16 ounces of fusilli pasta, or really whatever pasta you have on hand, three cups of cheddar cheese, and half a cup of milk. So we're going to start by um, putting our stove on medium-high heat and adding in the ground beef, the onion, the garlic, the salt, the pepper, the Worcestershire sauce, and the ketchup. So, I'm going to start with my ground beef. We are lucky enough to um, get our ground beef from my father-in-law. Um, he, you know, goes to the auction and buys a cow and then has it um, butchered and prepared for us in Coralitos. And we get this amazing low-fat uh, meat. We get steaks, ground beef, sausages, you name it, and it's pretty amazing. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna break this up. Each one of these pouches is about one pound. So it might be a little bit under, but that's okay. So the ground beef is in there, uh, and I'm going to add the onion. The garlic. The salt and pepper. Worcestershire sauce, the ketchup, oh, that took forever, sorry. So we're gonna cook this for six to seven minutes or until the ground beef is browned. It smells amazing already. I've never made this before. I got this recipe off of uh, Yumly, which is a really awesome uh, website for finding recipes. You can type in like a main ingredient that you want, like if you want to find a recipe with ground beef in it, or if you want to find a recipe with pork in it or whatever, you type it in and then it shows you all the different recipes. You can filter the recipes. Like you can like say you're super limited on, on ingredients. You can just type in all the ingredients you have and then it will show you all the recipes that have those specific ingredients included which can be a good and a bad thing because sometimes it can't find anything. So you have to be careful with that one, but. Okay, so this is all incorporated. I'm gonna turn it up a little bit. Um, our stove is like a really old electric stove. I wish that I had a gas stove, but um, this house is like 50 years old, so unfortunately we don't and we haven't upgraded. But that's okay. Um, I am just going to um, get my pasta measured out. It calls for 16 ounces of fusilli pasta, which is um, equal to two cups. Little 
extra never hurt anyone. These videos are a lot more entertaining when my son is helping me. Um, he had a very eventful busy day with daddy playing outside and we did a cooking video earlier we made some wonderful um chocolate chip marshmallow cookies and they were amazing i'm probably gonna have to make another batch because they were that good um so he's tired out so he passed out about 45 minutes ago and i'm just gonna let him sleep until dinner is ready i mean it's not like we have school or work tomorrow so if he goes to bed late it's not that big of a deal. So I found a lot of other really awesome recipes that I want to try that I found on this website. Um, a lot of them were casseroles, um, but a lot of them called for tomato paste and I don't have any on hand. I have lots of tomato sauce and diced tomatoes, but I don't have tomato paste. Um, so I'm going to have to have my husband run to the store to get me all the ingredients of the recipes that I want to try. And just excuse me one second, I'm going to put my hair up because I keep playing with it. Okay. So this recipe is super, well, it seems to be super easy. I've never made it before but um, it's got minimal steps and it's all in one pot so you don't have to like pre-cook the pasta or anything like that. It's a one pot dish, which I think is great. Super easy, not a lot of cleanup. Which I'm all about because the amount of dishes that I've been doing lately with my husband being home 24 seven and my son and me, all three of us being home all day, every day. Um, I've been doing a lot more dishes than I normally do. So any recipe that calls for less dishes, I am all for it. So this ground beef is almost cooked. So the next step um, is going to be to pour in four cups of beef broth, which is one whole container, one of the um, 32 ounce containers. Um, we're gonna add that, one cup of water, um, and then bring it to a simmer, and then, and then we're gonna add the pasta. So, make sure and if the the ground beef isn't like fully fully cooked that's okay because it's gonna simmer for another 30 minutes with all the other ingredients in it anyways and you don't want it to overcook so six to seven minutes is perfect and I'm really I'm not seeing any pink anymore this is it's fully cooked so um, now I'm gonna add in the beef broth. Beef broth, give it a little stir. And then one cup of water. And then um, we're gonna add the two cups of pasta. Okay, mix that around. Get all those flavors to become friends with each other. Okay. Um, 
We're gonna simmer this for 20 minutes until the pasta is cooked throughout and the broth has cooked down. And you're gonna stir this occasionally. Um, then you're gonna pour in the milk and the cheese and then stir until the cheese is melted and then you're gonna garnish it with sliced green onions. If you have them, you don't have to do that, obviously. I don't have any green onions, but I do have parsley um, which I and chives, which I will, I would, um, dried parsley and dried, dried chives. So I'm gonna garnish it with that instead. Um, but you know, green onions or spring onions are always um, really great for garnishing at the end, especially with casseroles and um, skillets. Um, and that's it for this recipe. So I am going to sign off and then I will um, come back with the next steps and the end of the recipe. So we will see you guys soon. And hopefully by that time, Ryder will be, a, Ryder will be awake. So uh, that's it for now, bye. Okay guys, so this has been simmering for about 20 minutes. The broth has reduced down significantly. So now I'm gonna add the milk and the cheese milk, cheese, lots and lots of cheese, and I'm going to stir this until the cheese melts, and the milk and the cheese are obviously going to thick it up, thicken it up even more. This looks amazing. Okay, I'm gonna let that come back up to a simmer. Um, and then I did make some beautiful crescent rolls to go with this because, you know, Gotta have some type of bread with a pasta skillet dish. And that is it. I'm gonna let this um, come back up to a simmer and then we are going to enjoy it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As Ryder would say, please like and subscribe. It's normally way more fun when Ryder's helping me, but he's super tired and uh, he is still sleeping. So um, he will probably end up sleeping through dinner, which is fine. Um, so anyways, that's it for quarantine cooking today, just with Krista. And we hope to see you on the next one. Thanks, bye. There you go, guys. Finished product, smells amazing, tastes amazing. I'm so excited to dig in. Bon appetit.